Hello, fellow truth seekers. I hope you are all doing well, that you're staying safe and positive and calm. <laughs> yes, that is my opening message. And um, I wanted to take just a minute before I get into the astrology to, um, first of all, thank um, I, last week I got to do my first, um, private readings and I just want to thank those who, um, had trusted me, let me into their world and, um, you all are just as amazing and unique and, um, powerful beings that I thought you would be and, um, I wanted to say a special thank you to a soul sister in South America, Maria, who gave my first uh, donation to the channel. So that's really exciting. And this week, I'll be reaching another milestone. So things are really starting to pick up, right? Um, I hit the thousand mark as I'm making this. I have um, three more to go. I need three subscribers and I'll be there. So that's exciting. Um, so thank all of you who have, um, yeah, become a part of this family and, um, You know, with that thousand mark, um, the channel is eligible for mon monetization. And, um, you know, I wanted to say, offer, you know, kind of um, a choice in a way. <laughs> um, so for those of you who would like to see the channel stay... Um, demonetized, you know, commercial free. Um, if I can raise $200 in donations, I won't monetize. I'll keep it off for a month. And, um, so, you know, with a thousand subscribers, that doesn't take much per, you know, person. So just, you know, a few dollars will be there before you know it. So, you know, that's just if, if you want it, no pressure whatsoever. Um, if we do go monetized, you know, that would be a great way to support the channel as well. Cause I, I do want to make improvements, right? I want to, um, get a mic, right? Get some better sound <clears throat> and, um, camera possibly in the future these kind of things because we're going to continue to grow <clears throat> and I just want to make it better yeah I want to keep making it better um <clears throat> so yeah now let's get into the astrology so we have this new moon in Aries and a lot of people, you know, this is the beginning of the astrological year, really, right? Because we just had the 19th, the spring equinox, and um, the sun into Aries. And now, just a few days later, we have the new moon meeting up with the sun. And it's very Aries. <laughs> it is, because it is at four degrees, right? Um, and that is the emperor in the tarot, which is Aries. And it's a new moon. You know, it is full energy. And, um, you know, that's the number zero. Same, you know, the day of the new moon, we have Aquarius. We have the Saturn in Aquarius at zero degrees. And Saturn is the um the limits the rules karma right and with it sitting at zero degrees of aquarius aquarius is all about the future and 
zero is infinite possibilities. It means right now there are no limits, y'all. <laughs> so we can dream big. We can make big moves. Um, yeah, this is just, you know, so cardinal, so cardinal. Um, which for those who don't know, that's like, you know, um, making moves, right? Making new big moves. And that is Aries. They are the initiator of the Zodiac. They are the go-getters. They, um, you know, no fear. Um, and this is wonderful energy. Um, at the same time, we, well, the day before, we have Mars conjuncting Pluto. And, you know, this is, these transformations that we've been going to, this is energizing them, quickening them. And, of course, this is just another wave that's being set into motion, right? Churning up the bottom of this ocean we've been diving into. And we also have... Chiron, the wounded healer, at five degrees in Aries. And the five is that number of, of change, right? The chaos and the conflict that we're feeling. But, you know, even though all of this is going on in the world, you know, this moon and the sun at four degrees, you know, that's stability. This is leading to stability. And that wounded healer, right? We, we're wounded right now. We have been doing this transformation. We're feeling, you know, very tender and vulnerable. But that's healing. And it's healing to others. You know, this is the wounded healer. So we're healing others. Through our transformations, we're healing others. And... It's up to us to kind of, you know, these the people that really resonate with this channel. You guys are are the wounded healer right now, right? And it's it's up to us to really grab the reins, right? And be the stability in the world. Send it out. Now, when I was getting ready to do these this series on the new moon in Aries, I, my intention was to make it about like what should you take a chance on? Because, you know, full energy, initiation, and spirit was like, no. Mm -mm. Not a good idea. People aren't ready to hear this message, blah, blah, blah. They wanted me to, uh, you know, and I, I was like, what do you want to do? And I, I used my art book. I should get a piece of art. Um, and it... I was like, you know, what do you want me to do? And the sunflowers came up, Van Gogh. And I was like, oh, so you want me to just, you know, do positive messages? Yeah, exactly. Knight of Wands came out. Light worker, right? <laughs> and so what I think that, they, you know, they want, I, I'm going to do it on, you know, what positive messages, right, does spirit have for each of you? And I think the reason they wanted to do that is because we are the anchor right now. We are that stability. And it's important, and, you know, with Saturn sitting at zero degrees, the, you know, limitlessness of that. We are supposed to, um, yeah, it, it, with this positive energy, who knows what we can create. All right? And we do have... Neptune is still in Pisces. So keep that in mind as we move through all of this chaos, right? Know that the chaos isn't completely real. Yeah? And, you know, this is a perfect time to start putting that action into these dreams that we have. Okay. Yeah. So let's get a piece of art for the new moon and Aries for the collective, please. To the left. Huh. 
Gilbert and George. Thumbing is what it's called. <laughs> I see this is like, you know, thumbing at the establishment. I mean, look at this big old skyscraper. It's like they're bigger than it. Right? This is the establishment. Thumbing our nose at the establishment. Hell yeah. Let's create the future we want. Alright, let's see what the cards have to say. Hello, my beautiful Taurians. I hope that you are all doing well. So my name is Christiana. I will be performing this reading for you regarding the new moon in Aries. So, okay, before I get started, because I already got some stuff in my uh, meditation beforehand, um, I do want to thank all of my subscribers. I just passed 1,000 subscribers, so that's a big milestone for me, and I just want to say thank you. <laughs> yeah, that one's for you, for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, but if, to say thank you, I'm giving away a free reading. So if you want to be entered, just leave a comment below. You can It can be as simple as enter me. As long as it's not negative, you'll be entered. Okay. So... This one's wanting to come out. Okay, I've seen one of them. I didn't see the other. During my meditative session, first of all, I had a really hard time grounding through my left foot, which is the feminine side, which is the receptive side. I did get, I, and then I had a hard time getting the root chakra going right which is also grounding and um yeah so you're not grounded or you're maybe a little bit grounded but not not like you should be and remember that we need to stay you know we need to have that balance the uh, sacral wasn't so bad but i got to my solar plexus and it was on fire you guys are really just wanting to do to get out there and do whatever it is that, that you want to do um heart chakra was really difficult for me to get going and throat chakra eh, you know took a little bit but then i got up to my third eye and my crown chakra and they you know very easily opened up so you guys are connected to spirit but and you're wanting to do whatever it is that you're inspired to do you're wanting to do it because you were grounded through your right side which is the masculine side the doer um, but this is a time that it probably we aren't going to be able to <laughs> um, really get out there and do as much as we want right but we'll see what comes up but the first thing that came out was breathe. Yeah. So, and I did feel some anxiety. So if you guys um, are feeling anxious right now, this is urging you to meditate. This will help you ground to make sure you're getting plenty of water. Yeah, just try to come to a place of stillness. And I'm pulled to this green as well in here, which is about the heart chakra. Well, and it's uh, it's a light green though, right? It's because our solar plexus and our heart chakra are more connected than we realize. That makes that lime green kind of color. And yeah, you know, I think that's what you need to cultivate. Try to pull, you know, if you do chakra work, um, and if you don't, I urge you to do some of those meditations. There are guided meditations all over the internet, and you can find short ones to get started. And it's nice to be guided through it, right? It gives you an idea of um, what to be doing, right? There's, there's no thought to it. But if you do, 
Try pulling that energy from your solar plexus up into your heart chakra, right? That's like self-love. That confidence is important to love ourselves. So try that. But I'm noticing also, you know, this arc line. That's the upper chakras. There's this, this wave going out. But you need to ground that, right? Get this wave going down here beneath you as well. Because right now, it's, it's, it's a little bit off. Ah, and mending. Yes, okay. So this could be about healing yourself, healing a relationship with somebody else. This could be about the world in general. Yes, that, um, because with mending, I, I definitely get healing. And this particular card does um, talk about relationships to other people in particular, but I feel like this has many layers to it. Yourself, others, you know, that heart chakra was kind of closed off, right? And it needs to be healed. There's something here that needs to be healed. We'll get a little bit more and see what they have to tell us. Okay. Hmm. Interesting card there. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, one more card please for Taurus, regarding the new moon in Aries. One more card please for Taurus. One more card please, there we go. Hmm, yeah, there are hearts to be um, untied and healed here. And I'm going to actually start with this. This is over here with mending. And look at this. We have this thread here. And I see this as like a knot of threads. I often see this as like the heart knot. And, you know, this can be either literal or figurative. Because, yes, there are heart knots for real. <laughs> But you're, you're knotted up, right? You've been hurt, something, and this is probably lots and lots of hurts. Yes, so. There's this need to go in and, and kind of fix that. Look at it, look at whatever it is that's, that's hurt you recently. You gotta get to the root of it, right? When we get hurt, and we have a really strong reaction, like we're wanting to close off our hearts entirely, it's probably because it's triggered something from the past. Oh, wow. And I even, like, this is the first time I've noticed that there are little squiggles here, like things getting uh, threads here as well, getting untied from these little, little hurts, you know, they, they add up to a lot over time. You know, those soft spots, right? We know our triggers, our trigger point. Those people that we love know what hurt, you know, what, to, what really pushes our buttons, right? Each one of these is that button. So the thing to do is to find the original button, right? What started it all, right? This one this one right here and start to unravel that one as you un because that's where the knot started right so yeah I definitely see that okay I was really drawn to that now let's go back over here we have Albert Durer one man's outbreak is another man's breakthrough. Know your perspective. Apocalypse thin. So yeah, I feel like this 
coronavirus and wow does this not kind of look like the coronavirus in a way that is weird this is the first time this car i've seen it as i've been shuffling but it hasn't come out until now so i feel like this is affecting you guys a little bit more than ever you know and this is why you're there's there's uh, you're wanting to do whether it's um just this getting kind of um, secluded and locked in is really getting to you um or if it's that you you know you want to find some kind of solution even or that you have something that you had started right a, pre a creative project and you're wanting to do it but yeah you know, now now you can't So, it says one man's outbreak is another man's breakthrough. And this is a time for you to have breakthroughs. You know, this, that is the message that keeps on coming up over and over again. Spirit wants you to make the most of this time. Right? Not staying in and, you know, I'm, I've got this... Anxiety feeling right now, and that's not what we don't need to be concentrating on. That we need to be doing some meditation, right? This is a perfect time if you've never done it. This is a perfect time to get into it. And even if at first your mind is all over the place, you know, you just keep on bringing it back. Do those guided meditations. They're very easy to find, I promise. You can find some short ones to get started with. And then do the mending. Do the work on yourself. This one says, it's Louise Bourgeois. Remembering through art is better than forgetting. An inference is worth a thousand appendages and draw on private pain to connect with the public. So, and yet, you know, I see you guys as my artists. You can take these and, you know, this can be all kinds of different kinds of art, but however it is, channel this energy into something beautiful something ugly just as long as it makes you feel as long as you've got it on paper right that you're 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 using it in an, um, a productive way yeah all right let's get some tarot This is an 11 and a 7. For some reason, I get pulled to life path numbers there. <clears throat> yeah, Albert Durer was one of the first people to do self portraits. That's what he was kind of, he kind of, um, the spearhead for, for the self-portrait movement. <laughs> so, yeah, there's definitely, they're prodding you to look within during this time. For Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus regarding the new moon in Aries. Messages for Taurus, please. Okay. Messages for Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus regarding the new moon in Aries? This was the last one. This one came out second, right? 
much more interesting. Hmm. So I'm going to move these, <laughs> but I wanted to look at them this way first. Yeah, this is Gift of Liberty. This is the, so first of all, okay, I guess I should start here, sorry. This is the Ace of Swords, right? The Dreamer here. This is the Page of Swords. No, this is the Knight of Swords. I do believe. Let me check this. So yeah, yeah, this is the Knight of Swords. And, you know, I feel like this is, you know, that desire to move forward, right? You get the idea. You know, we've got more air here. Breathe, air. Um, so you've got this idea this breakthrough, right? And <laughs> the, you know, you're ready to move forward with it. And look how, you know, here it's like, yes, I've got it. It even has like, you know, these orangey colors that are, you know, fiery. It's like creative, yeah? All this orange. And then you're ready to express it. You're ready to send it out into the world and you get hung up right so these came out sideways which tells me that you know this is a challenge for you to see this in a new light right take taking advantage of this and look his it's his left foot that's caught on this tree. <laughs> you need to ground. You need to catch yourself and ground. You know, that's in this uh, deck. He's, he's moving towards the sky, right? He's levitating. And like I said, I was feeling like your, your upper chakras were wide open. And see, look here. Upper chakras, air, lots of air. You, you, you need to ground this, this time frame. It, you're getting slowed down for a reason, okay? And we have the hanged man opposing this judgment, right? This awakening. Until, you know, you have done the work, until um, this all passes, right? You're, you're going to be stuck. You're, you're going to have to go through, and I'm going to move this over here, because death comes first. And then there's a rebirth. I mean, and look, we've got 12, 13. Yeah, you've, you've got to go through the process. They're just not going to have it any other way. <laughs> they will not have it any other way. You've got to go within this, this, cave, this cave here, right? This is the cave of your heart. Look at all this green here. Find the wisdom. There are things to be learned within this cave, this, you know, this time of, um, of waiting is for a purpose. Yeah, and I notice all these tendrils, yes. 
coming out of her back. She's been freed. She's untied the knots. And look at all this, you know, oh, wow. And look, she's sending out her message, her, what she's learned out and look on each mountaintop. There are others just like her doing the same thing. This is that, actually, I want to put this over here, this, and it went way over here for a reason, I think. This is supposed to be coming last. But this is all of the light workers, right? The people who are sending, the people who are doing the spiritual work, if those other uh, terms bother you. <laughs> We're all creating our rebirth as a planet, as, you know, I was talking in the intro, if you didn't watch it, Saturn is at zero degrees in Aquarius. Saturn are, are, is the limitations, the rules, the karma, and at zero degrees, this is potential, right? This is like anything is possible. This is our chance to rebuild our future. Look how colorful, look how beautiful this is. It's up to you to use this time, right? This time that you're you're hung up, you're in the cave to plant your seed. Right? Untie the knots and help manifest working in conjunction with others. You know, I feel like these these tendrils are reaching out to in, in space to others soul family, kindred spirits that we can't necessarily see, but we can feel. And this is helping create this, this new world. This is, you're also gaining wisdom. I see with this tree, you know, there's, there's wisdom in it. This is the dawning of a new day, right? This is in Aquarius, which is, we have entered into the age of Aquarius and we're rebuilding the structures. This idea is going to be sent out into the world, but this time period is actually helping you hone it and I feel like, you know, this um, connecting with yourself, connecting with, with others, just through the meditation, even possibly in real life. Yeah. Would we'll take whatever resonates. But that it's going to make it even, even better, this time period of, um, you know, you're going to have this change in perspective, this... Um, there's going to be this freedom that happens when you emerge from your cage, right? <laughs> Reborn into a new world. I mean, like, and it's going to take a while, right? I mean, like, we have a lot of really, we've got the hanged man, death, and judgment. I mean, that is, in a pretty short period of time, you know, being hanged, dying, and being reborn. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's an amazingly powerful spread, guys. I'm just like I'm kind of amazed looking at it.
Yeah. Okay. So let's get a piece of art and then we will get closing guidance and then we'll take a look at the underlying messages, which I haven't even looked at. I haven't even looked at. I want to see them, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm just going to wait and see with everybody else. Okay. Let's get a piece of art. Taurus, please. Taurus. To lift. Hmm. Have you all got this before? It's um, William Hogworth. Breakfast scene from Mariage à la Mode. And, yeah, there's this... There's pandemonium. We have this overturned chair, and this guy looks like, oh my god. And this guy is all back here, all flustered. Even, for some reason, I'm drawn to this person in the uh, painting. looks looks kind of angry. <laughs> this guy looks just kind of resigned. Boy, she's happy. But I feel like this is, you could be either one of these two people. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot going on around us, right? Uh, this, you know what this is? This is the masculine and the feminine within you finding that balance right the masculine wants to move forward but he can't that's why he looks kind of resigned get in touch with your feminine she is you know the re she's the receptive mode she is the one that manifests she is also the creative side of you If for some reason, I'm really drawn to this as well. I feel like this is part of your message. It's volcano, right? There's something that needs to be birthed. And, you know, volcanoes, they, they're destructive, but they also are very fertile land, right? All of this growth here. Mm-mm. So just know that whatever is happening, even though it's destructive, there is there is growth. It's it's for fertile ground afterwards. So stay aligned, stay balanced. Get in touch with that receptive side. <clears throat> Try to have this change in perspective. Do your meditation. It will help, I promise. All right. Closing guidance from the angels and ancestors. Closing guidance for Taurus, please. Closing guidance for Taurus. Regarding the new moon in Aries. Closing guidance for Taurus, please. New moon in Aries. Hmm. Wow, okay. Interesting. <clears throat> I did see the underlying there. That's <laughs> So, we have autumn, release the old and rest. And autumn might, since this is the last card in the spread, autumn might be a time that we really, you really see um, this manifestation take place. Whatever this is, 
this idea that you have that you know you're fired up to move forward with you're going to really see something happen in the autumn with it it's going to be an important time Let's see what Autumn has to say. Release all of the pressure and expectation weighing you down. Shed it all so that you can recover before moving into a time of renewal. Holy crap. <laughs> Autumn is when the trees are preparing for the long cold winter and must let go of all the weight they are carrying in order to continue to grow and prosper. Sometimes you too just have to surrender an aspect of yourself in order to continue to grow and prosper. The raven on the autumn card shows that there is an opportunity to heal at this time. <laughs> in Celtic animal medicine, the raven is the bird of healing and initiation. The healing it brings is a shift that allows you to move into a more powerful psychic space where you can be more aware of your needs and desires and be better supported. You know what is heavy, what is holding you back. Is it a person, a situation, a dream? Like the trees letting go of their leaves and fruit in the autumn, it's time to let it go. When you hold on, you try to control reality and that never works. When you let go, you make space for the new to enter your life. You are being guided by your angels and nature herself to release whatever is stopping you from moving forward. And you can do this. When the autumn card arrives in the future position of a spread or as a last card in reading, it can also indicate that the com coming autumn will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. So, obviously with this release the old and rest, this is... I think that holding, you know, that desire to move forward, just like accepting the situation as it is, and also an old pattern of thinking. And, you know, if there was something else, like it's, the card said, you'll know if there's something that you need to release. So, yeah, we have Fork in the Road here. We have William Morris. It says, bad truth makes good fantasy. To be prolific, be versatile. Art is the methadone of the math masses. Okay. Snake, shed old skin. <laughs> they are really wanting you to uh, do this transformation. And then... We have the Ace of Wands. So once, you know, this is a fork in the road, and like we have this, uh, with this card, for one thing, I see the, the mirroring, right? Um, soulmate love, right? We've been talking about it. It still is um, present here. But I also, like, this is like, coming right out of his crown here. And this is, I see there's three of them, like mind, body, spirit, um, co-creating with the universe, that kind of thing. But this is balanced too, right? So make sure you're balanced. That bad truth makes good fantasy. There is a lot of illusion going on. Everything that we hear isn't exactly as it is. Keep that in mind. And everything that's going on is for our own good, okay? Um, we've got fork in the road. So there's a decision to be made, yes? And... It doesn't really matter. It never really matters what decision you make. Go with your gut, right? Go with your heart. Um, but every every choice we make, every decision, you know, any way that we go, it, it teaches us something. If we make the wrong choice, it's still the right choice because there was a lesson to be learned there. All right? 
shed old skin. Try not to make the same decision that you may have made in the past, right? Rethink it. Take take a, a moment, right, to see things from a different perspective. I put this over top of the hanged man, not even realizing. And snake is right over death here, which is shed old skin. This is transformative energy here. And I, I actually would like to read the snake card, too, for you guys. But then after you do, after you come out on the other side of this, you're going to be ready to go, right? That explosion. Oh my God, this has got the volcano on it. I knew that was for you guys. You know, you're just waiting for the right time to, to let it out. Wow, that's a passionate new beginning. Fired up, inspired. Okay, let's read Snake here. I know I'm asking you guys to do some hard work here. <laughs> it's not easy stuff, but I, I promise you that it is so worth it. You will be so much more powerful, so much freer. I mean, like, it's, it's amazing. Let me read this. Cast off the old. Reveal your true colors, talents, and gifts to the world. In many spiritual traditions, the snake offers powerful medicine. In tantric teachings, it symbolizes the kundalini, which is the powerful serpentine energy within that allows you to reach the highest spiritual potential. When the sacred ones saw a snake in nature or encountered one, encountered one in a dream, they knew that there was transformation in the air. For me, the snake, skin, the snake card can not only represents the shedding of old skin, but moving beyond the limitations caused by carrying the venom of negative thoughts about others or the past. The energy of renewal is washing over your life at this time. If for some reason you feel that your true self hasn't been recognized or you've been misread by others, know this energy is now leaving you. As you've been working through your old stories and all the self-limiting beliefs that you've accumulated along the way, you've been peeling away a shield of skin that has created limiting experiences. Your own personal commitment to growth has been recognized, and now the external world will begin to reflect all of the work that you've been doing within. If you feel someone you love has misunderstood you recently, they will be able to see beyond that if you'll be willing to recognize your own challenges. This is a time for renewal, abundance, and connection. Let yourself be reborn and celebrated. And this is you being reborn right out of that damn volcano there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right, that was really beautiful, Taurus. Thank you. I hope that it resonated. I hope it helped. If so, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Until next time, much love.